Hello YouTubers, I'm Paris and this is our third video in QT chart. So in the previous video we have learned that how you can create a Q line chart or Q line series in uh, QT5 C++. So this video I'm going to do that how you can uh, create a pie chart or pie series in QT5. So I'm going to create a new project QT widget application and I call it for example pie uh, chart. Uh, and after that I'm going to uh, click on next and click on next uh, I'm choosing Q main window click next finish so now after this uh, let me just close this line series okay now we have our pie chart project and we have our main window and uh, first let me just add uh, a horizontal layout in here and make this as a Q-frame and let me make it bigger so like this okay now after this uh, now let me open my dot profile uh, we need to add uh, charts in here and after this we are going to open our main window dot h and we need to add some uh, so the first thing I need I'm going to include a q chart so qt chart not q chart qt charts and also I need to uh, include q chart view and I need to include a q pi series like this okay so now uh, in your let me just open on my main window dot cpp in the constructor so in here I'm going to uh, create my code so first I'm going to create a qpy series I call it uh, series new qpy series and after this I'm going to append some data to this series so series and I want to append, for example, uh, C++. Uh, you can give it ET. And series uh, append Python. And uh, you can give it a number. So let me just copy this and paste it in here. Uh, this time let me change this to Java and make it 50 uh, this is uh, C sharp uh, make it 40 we have uh, PHP the last one and let me give it 30 okay so after creating this now uh, we are going to uh, create our Q chart so Q chart and chart new q chart now you can add the series to your chart so chart add uh, series and we are going to add our series and also you can set a uh, title to your chart so set tight title and I'm going to give it QT5 pie chart example. Okay, now after this, we need to create our chart view in here. So Q chart view, and let me call it chart view new Q chart view, and we are going to add our chart in here. <coughs> and uh, now you need to set the parent so chart view set parent and UI and the ob our object name is uh, UI let me check this that so it's horizontal frame let me just copy this and open UI horizontal frame okay now let me just run this 
Uh, so guys we have syntax error in line 24 let me just check this and uh, chart view uh, syntax error new oh sorry it is a q chart view now let me just run it again okay now you can see uh, we have uh, this nice pie chart uh, for example if you want to uh, slice some part for example I want to slice this uh, Python so you can do that uh, now or for example C++ or whatever you want so let me just show you uh, now uh, before creating our chart in here I'm going to create first let me import uh, in here so in my header dot file I'm going to import uh, Q pi slice <coughs> okay now in main window dot cpp and here I'm going to create a q pi slice and I call it slice new q pi slice oh sorry uh, new not we are going to take our series and in here we are going to uh, do slicing and now you need to specify the index number so in which uh, where you want to slice so uh, if you check uh, uh, this is our zero index first second so let me just uh, I want to slice Python and you can give one and now after this uh, I want to set uh, the explode so slice set explode it to true now let me just run this and check this okay so now uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, sliced this part so if you see it is a python so it's the color is python now uh, you can add more uh, to this so for example you can set the label so set label uh, visible and make it the true uh, also you can slice uh, set pen you can set pen for the border so Q pen and it is a QT dark green so dark green and the uh, pen sizes you can give it I am going to give it two and also let me just uh, slice set brush so set brush and it is QT green brush now let me just run this okay guys so now you can see that we have we have a label in here but uh, uh, because uh, let me just change to my layout a little bit and make it bigger that uh, you can see now let me just run it again okay so now you can see we have a slice this part and the label is python so thank you guys uh, i will add source code to the video description if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like my video and also share the video